What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy Collins. I'm here with one of my closest friends, Mr. Brian Sanders. He's a fellow magician, bartender, comedian, all around amazing person. And on this episode, we're going to build one of our classics. So guys, here we go. All right, gang, so a brief history lesson of this drink that we call the Devil's Pecan Pie. We were challenged in a bar that we worked in together to come up with a drink that featured the Kill Devil Hills Pecan and Honey Rum. Now, this is actually distilled in the Outer Banks Distillery located in Kill Devil Hills. That's why it's called Kill Devil's Rum. Woo, go figure, original. So we came up with uh, some ideas on how to make the pecan pie. Uh, at first, I just wanted to use the- You wanted to use, yeah, you wanted to use uh, Kill Devil, the Kill Devil pecan rum and amaretto. I suggested maybe Kill Devil rum and Frangelico, but then we decided, hell, why not use both? And that's basically how it was formed. I mean, it, it just kind of, between trial and error, we came up with this drink and it actually is one of the most favorite drinks located or that is featured in our bar. So guys, enough with the history. Let's go ahead and build this. Brian, you ready to build this? Let's do it, man. All right, so let, walk the people what we're gonna do. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. First, what? yeah, we should go over the tools yeah, first. Yeah, let's what go over the tools need. in the future. Let's go over what you're gonna need really quick. You're gonna need Frangelico liqueur, all right? Hazelnut liqueur. Obviously, you're gonna need your Kill Devil's rum, pecan. There's other flavors, but we're gonna use the pecan and honey to give it that pecan taste. And you can use amaretto, but we actually prefer Disserano. It's, it's a smoother, higher quality it amaretto, better. tastes way better. Oh God, it's so good. I took, took a sip earlier. It's, it's so good, it's so good. You're also gonna need pineapple juice, all right? That's where the pie, and Kill Devil's pie pecan pie comes from and then we're gonna garnish with some cinnamon sticks and as far as tools you're gonna need your shaker all right then your jigger which is a one and a half by half ounce you'll need your tongs so that it's COVID free COVID free you don't want to touch the ice or any kind of garnish when you make a drink just mm -mm. tips for the bartenders out there exactly obviously you will need your strainer Keep that broken ice and everything uh, inside the glass as you pour it. And we're probably gonna end up making two. So we have two glasses here. And then of course you have your ice and your mixing glass. So first what we're going to do is we're gonna add ice to the glass. So let's do that. We're gonna use the small cubes, right? This is small, yeah, small cube. Small yeah. cubes for the use the shake. small cubes. Alright, let's do one more. I think that's enough. Put one more in. Yeah, let's put one more in there. Bam, there we go. All right, and then next what we're gonna need to do is we are going to first start with the Kill Devil's Pecan Rum. Mmm. Smell good? Smell good? Yeah, you wanna smell it? Mmm. Delicious. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two ounces of Kill Devil's Rum. This is one and a half, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so we got that one and one and a half, excuse me, and we're gonna add another half to equal two ounces of the pecan rum. Bam, just like that. All right, next. Bam, I'll hand that to you, sir. We're gonna take a, let's do, let's do an ounce. Let's do an ounce. Yeah, let's do an ounce. That's about an ounce, right? Yep. Yeah, that's about an ounce. Ounce of the Frangelico, and then we'll also do an ounce of this Serrano. Bam. Hmm. 
I know. Gotcha. All right, it looks good. It smells good. Like you smell this, like smell that. I mean, it's it's. We're just, smelling it's, an awful lot. I feel like it's kind of weird, but I, I'm telling you, once you guys start building this drink, you're really gonna just enjoy the. See, it's so smooth. You're gonna enjoy the the, the just the smell of this. It's just amazing. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your pineapple juice. Now, how much would you say of the pineapple juice would you put in? Honestly, I would probably, you don't want to put a whole lot. You basically want to put a splash. In fact, we'll actually, we can measure it out. We'll do... We'll do like four ounces, maybe? Mm, or two? I would probably do two. We'll do two. You don't want a lot because you don't want to take away the flavor of the liquor. Right. All right, there we go. That's enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah. That's just right. And I'm going to go ahead and ice the glasses so we can pour it in. Uh, and we're using our big cubes and our rocks glasses. Which that's all. Here, use the tongs. Hey, look, what did you just say? I don't care. We're drinking. I'm not Never sure. touch your ice. Never touch your ice, but unless they're frozen together. There you go. And then next, what is it you, what is it you say? We're going to shake that puppy up. Shake that puppy up. Now the reason you want to shake it and not stir this is because you want to break everything down. You want the pineapple juice, the, you want the, um, the uh, del serrano. serrano, you want the frangelica, and you also want the rum just to mix properly into the... And you really can't get that with the stir, so that's why you shake it up. And that, it also gives it that nice uh, frothy taste. From the pineapple juice too. Yeah. It gives it a nice frothiness from when you shake it up with the ice. And then next what we're going to do is of course strain it right into the glass. And finally, we're going to garnish. Whoop, look at look. See if I pull oh, oh. you. We're going to garnish this with a cinnamon stick to add a little bit of extra flavor. Boom! And just like that, guys, you have a delicious, refreshing. I mean, I would almost say this is kind of closer to a fall drink. It is uh, 100%. because you, you get that that nice spicy taste to it. Not hot spicy, but just the spice to it. Uh, Devil's Pecan Pie. Dr Brian, go and try that out. Let's give See it a what try. You How's that taste? That's a damn good drink. Damn good drink. Mm -hmm. Guys, do me a favor. Go hit Brian up on Instagram at Magic is BS. You can also follow me at Billy Collins Show. I almost forgot my own handle on Instagram. <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. It doesn't hurt you. It helps me. It helps me grow. Guys, I'll see you on the next episode. <clears throat> oh, I'll get one too. Ooh, how's it going? That was a good one. All right, guys, before we... Kildeva Hills Rum. This is a pecan. It's pecan rum. It's pecan honey. It's pe well. It's it's rum with pecans and honey. Yeah, pecans. Yeah, but it's and a honey. pecan rum. It, that's that's what's highlighted on it. So that's this is the Kildeva's pecan rum. So yeah, we were. So we were we were tasked to come up with a drink in our bar that we were working at, and a little history about uh, Kildeva Hills pecan honey rum. It is actually distilled in uh, Outer Banks Distillery up in Kildeva Hills. Is that where it got the name? What? <laughs> so this is, uh, they are mainly known for their rum. Uh, and this was inspired by a pecan tree that hangs over the distillery and by the honey that is produced in the neighboring county uh, where they get all their honey from. That fucking sucked. That was dick shit. You need to add a bloopers at the end. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. All right, guys, before we start building this drink, let's have a brief history of this drink. So it dates back to, well, to <laughs> mother. Ready? And here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy Collins, and today on this Tipsy Tips, we're going to make one of our specialties. That's right. This is my friend Brian Sanders, my partner in crime, my bartender. That sucked. 